Hello everyone, wanted to do a quick video about um, sorting for set building. Um, it's a tedious uh, task, but um, I do like to make sets. And uh, this just have here some heritage miners that I've opened up. Uh, I figure I have about enough cards to make a set, to get close to it. So I just wanted to go over my uh, technique, how I do it. How I make sets or sort my cards. This is all unsorted. None of the cards here are in order here. Um, but yeah, um, just as a uh, software engineer, uh, sorting is a big deal <laughs> uh, for software. So I've thought about ways about how to make this as efficient as possible. This is kind of what I, I I've come up with. So main thing I do is I will split this into halves until I get down to where I'm literally you know this you know um, splitting the cards up into one or two piles and they all get ordered um, so if this was a 300 400 card set I would start by just splitting this into two piles uh, whatever the um, Usually by the hundreds, it's the easiest. So tops of the 330 card set, I would split one pile into the one to 200 or one to 199, and then the last pile into 200 to 330. Um, this is a 200 card set, so it should be pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I would just split them up. Anything um, starts with a one over 100, on the top anything below 100 on the bottom so bottom bottom top bottom bottom um, and yeah so this is kind of how I do the initial sort um, doing it this way there's gonna be about three or four iterations so um, I'll just keep on recording I'll probably fast forward through this just so it's not too time-consuming but you'll see after this, just a quick sort of this pile here. Everything in here is over 100. Everything in here is under 100. So I'll go ahead and finish this up. And then, um, yeah, probably skip ahead to the next part of the sort. Okay, when we did that first part here, so um, 1 through 99 is here, um, 1 to, or no, 100 to 199 here, and then I found a 200, which means I can finish, or I have a chance of finishing the set, possibly. Uh, but yeah, these sets, these piles are still too big to sort um, in an easy manner, so basically we'll repeat the process here and split them into 50 so uh, 100 to 150 and then 190 or 151 to 199 and then these 1 to 49 and then 1 to 50 so again just two piles um, I'll probably just go ahead and do this fast forward through a lot of this and then um, once I'm finished with that um, we'll do the next step
Okay, now that I've got this all sorted out, um, I do this next step a little differently. So, um, I split this up into three groups here for these. It'll, it'll save an extra step or two, but this is the way I'll do it. 1 through 19 on the top, 21 through 39 on the bottom, so anything that doesn't start. 0, 1, 2, 3 on the bottom, and then 4 I'll put in a pile off to the bottom, so... Um, See, bottom, or bottom, top, 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 bottom, 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 four, bottom, four. Um, and yeah, I'll do this for each of the four piles here, and then uh, skip ahead to the next step here. Uh, but this will make it easy to um, sort into groups of ten, which is the ultimate goal here. I want it in piles of ten, so um, zero to zero to nine. 10 through 19, um, 29 through 30, 20, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, continue to sort and then skip to the next step here. We'll fast forward and skip to the next step here. All right, now I've got three piles of cards here. These are my uh, 1 through 19, 20 to, 20, 20 to 39, and these are my 40s. So 40s, good to go for the next step. These will do top and bottom, you know, sort them into groups of 10 here. So I'll just do that real quick. Alright, so I've got these sorted into piles, five different piles, uh, 1 through 9, uh, 10 through 19, 22, 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49. And then I'll show you what I do here, is I'll split this again into two piles, but um, I'll just uh, go a little slowly so you can see how I do this. So I'm going to look for two cards here. This is the first card of the bottom set, which would be 1 and... Uh, Five. Oh no, wait. It would be zero and six or five. So you know what? Let me do the tens first. So I'm looking for ten and fifteen here. I'm gonna put them into two separate piles here. And I'm gonna sort top to bottom on this stack here. So uh, top, bottom, top, top, ten, bottom, top, fifteen, bottom, top, 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 top. Bottom, bottom, top, top, 10. Okay. Now, um, now that I've got the top cards, 16 through 19 on the top here, let's put 16 here, i put 18 on the top here, okay? So basically I'm skipping another step here instead of just looking for 16. Any 16 on the bottom, 18 on the top here. Oopsies. All right, okay, now I've got 18. We'll just put every 19 on the top here, and boom, this is sorted right here, these five cards. I'll repeat the process for this one. So this one, I'll put uh, 13 on the top here and 11 on the bottom here. All right, and then 14 on the top here, boom, that's sorted. So basically, I was doing a couple steps at the same time. So when I put the fourth card, or zero, the first card down, I sort top to bottom. And I put the first card and the third card on the top of the pile. And boom, um, the last step is to put the fourth card and then the second card on the bottom. So basically, you're sorting the whole stack here. So this is sorted. We do that for every pile here. One through nine is a little different because there's only nine cards, so you can kind of do the same thing. It's just going to feel different. Uh, 
six, six on the top here. We'll see if we even have a complete set or a chance to make a complete set. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, two, three, four, yep, yeah, five, six, no five. Yeah, we're missing a card. So we can't make this set. It looks like we're missing a few cards. <laughs> this is out of three boxes. You're going to need about, um, let's say, two and a half times as many cards to make a set, to have a good chance of making the set. Um, so if you have a 200 card set and you have about 500 cards, you might be able to make a set. You'll have a good chance, but sometimes you're just missing a card. If I'm missing a card, like I'm missing five here, um, what do I do? Okay, I've got... Um, I've got markers like these in colored sleeves. I'll just put a spacer there right there to know I'm missing a card when it's sorted. So you see it'll, it'll show up in a pile. Um, like I'm missing a card. If you put it in a box, I'll be able to tell, oh, hey, look, green card there. I'm missing a card in the set. So that's how I know if I'm missing cards in the set. So I'm missing a couple cards. I'll write it down on a piece of paper as well. I'll do one more pile here just to kind of show you the technique again. So 30, 35, top and bottom. So 35, top, 35, or 30, top, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, 35. Okay. Now 36 here, 38 on the top here. Okay. Then 39 on the top. 37 on the bottom, that's sorted. Same here, 31, and then 33 on the top here. 33 and then 34 on the top here, that's sorted. Uh, if, I, if I do it out of order, I'll just put the pile off in a offset like that, so I know it's, um, it's a separate pile from something else on the bottom. So I'll just do that real quick, 25, 20, 25, 20, 20, okay, uh, 26 and 28, all right, 28 on the top here, 26 on the bottom, okay, 28, so now I got 29, 27, that's sorted, 21, wow, we're missing a bunch of cards, so no 23, no 24, um, yeah, I'll just grab a couple markers here. Now at this point, I know I can't make this set, so um, there's kind of no point. Um, if I had it like this, I would just, um, yeah, start removing the markers. I know I'm going to be short of cards to make the set. I'm probably at least 10 or 15 cards short here. So what I'll do is, um, yeah, I'll just um, stack them up in order. Uh, you can continue to sort them. The thing is... Uh, if you do decide to get more cards to sort to finish the set, like if I were to buy another box, try to sort these up, I'd have to do this whole process again anyway. So uh, this is about as far as I can sort this set. I'll leave it like that. But um, yeah, this is a pretty quick way of how I do my sorting. I'd say I would get through this entire pile in about, I don't know, um, what are we, about 20 minutes in here. And I managed to do a lot of sorting here. This is pretty much mostly sorted. I'd say take me another 15 or 20 minutes to finish sorting through this if I had enough cards to make a full set. So uh, that's how I do my sorting. Um, it's pretty fast. I'm looking for new ways to do sorting of cards. So um, if you guys know any videos or point me to resources on that, you know, I'd be more, more than interested in learning. But this is kind of the way I do it, kind of the way I've uh, figured out the best way that uh, works for me, you know, I think there could be more optimal sorting techniques or algorithms or whatever, but then again, um, you know, it depends on hand dexterity uh, and so on. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching.